Making art isn't easy, I know. But before I burst into song, I thought we could do a page together, following some prompts to just keep us focused. And maybe I'll burst into song later for you. Or yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> so let's get straight on with the first prompt, and it's colour. You kind of knew it had to be. <laughs> so let's start with some colour. And this could be an old page in your junk journal or your art journal or maybe an old canvas that you've abandoned somewhere. Go back to it. Let that be where your starting point is. And if you don't have any colour already down on your piece, then get some down. Don't worry too much about it. Just add in some colour. Get yourself started. You could even just start on a coloured piece of paper. Because we're going to move straight on to prompt number two, which is collage. And for this one, grab some paper and stick it on your surface. It's as simple as that. You can cover big areas with it. You could just put a little bit of collage down. You could have it focused into shapes or use words or pictures. It's totally up to you. You know that it doesn't have to be like mine at all. And we're just gonna do some art together using the same prompts, but in different ways. And one of the most fun things about art is how we all interpret things differently. And there's just so many ways that you can bring your own unique self to a piece. Go ahead and do that. Feel free to. With mine, I went with some notepad paper that had already got some paint on it because I'd used it to protect a surface when I was colouring up another piece of paper. Once I've got that in place, I move straight on to prompt number three, which is add more colour. Yeah, colour's going to feature a lot in this one. So this, I picked out a colour that was already down on the background, just to use it a little bit more. It's a translucent that I've picked, so it's not going to completely cover up all of the layers underneath, which is great. But I am going to use it on quite a bit of the surface here. I also didn't wait until the matte medium I'd used to glue down my collage pieces had dried. I just went straight in with some colour. Then once this colour was all down, I then let the whole piece dry before moving on to the next prompt. And for this prompt, we're going to go ahead and do some doodling. So far, we haven't really been worrying about positions of stuff or anything like that. We've not had to think about it. But for this layer, I want you to just have a quick think about what kind of doodles you're going to use and where you want to put them. Try not to get stuck in overthinking it and just going for it. One of the beautiful things about doing this whole prompt flow is that you can come back to it later and start another piece following exactly the same flow, but in a different way. So this kind of frees you up to just try anything out. So don't feel you have to overthink anything, just go with whatever's pulling you at the moment. And if it works, that's great. If it doesn't work, that's fine too. You can always come back and give it another go, go through the whole flow again in a completely different way and try all the different options. So if you add your doodles like I am, and that's in one corner, for your next piece, you could always come back and cluster them in the centre or maybe spread them throughout the page. Tons of different possibilities. And I've gone with circles for mine because, well, I do love a circle, but the doodle is entirely up to you, of course. So you don't have to go with circles, go with whatever you want, whatever kind of marks you like to put down. I'm also using my ink tense pencils, which are water reactive pencils, but you can grab whatever it is you want to play with today. Once you have some shapes in place, it's time for the next prompt. And let's just keep on flowing through this art piece. We're going to go back to colour again for this prompt. And I want to change up to something that contrasts really strongly with that predominant colour that I've got on this page. So that's what I'm going to use for my colour. I've also picked an opaque colour. So wherever I put this paint, it's going to cover up the layer underneath. So I'm only really going to use it sparingly, and I'm also going to use it around my doodle shapes from that last prompt. Of course, how you use yours is, as I said, it's up to you. You don't have to add your colour in blocks. You could also add it in mark making as well. Just try out what is pulling you today. Now 
and I'm going to move straight on to my next prompt which is big up your shapes and because I've moved straight on I've still got some wet paint down here and the fact that my doodle shapes were all done with watery active pencils I'm going to use those two features of these materials to help me to add more impact to my shapes the shapes that are already down here so a little bit more water and more pencil will help me to big up these doodles but you know what I'm going to say <laughs> what you do with this prompt is entirely up to you and you know, will be influenced by what materials you've been using so far so you could always add more paint here instead or you could bring in a new material maybe you want to use some crayons to make some marks it's entirely up to you or maybe you just want to mix and match and see what happens right time for another prompt and for this one it's back to doodles so add another doodle so the way I'm going to use this prompt is to doodle something that's going to be a good counterpoint to my first doodle. I've picked a pencil but it's a soft graphite pencil this time and not an ink tense and the marks are going to be quite different because I'm going to go I'm using a scribble writing instead so I'm not really making shapes I'm just making marks and I've placed them to set off those first doodles that cluster of first doodles this sort of scribble mark making is going to give it a nice balance and hopefully will harmonize it and finish the piece off so when it comes to your piece have a look at the doodles what doodles have you got down there already and what can you now do to balance but also contrast those first doodles and not overwhelm them don't overthink it remember we can always go through this whole prompt flow again with the different options so just pick an option go with it see if it works and have fun with it I hope you enjoyed our art flow today and made some made a nice piece hopefully you've made more than just one piece tried out some different options and different ways of using these prompts keep on creating in these videos next and I will catch up with you again soon for some more art. 